Hi, my name is Matt Beck. This video is going to focus on jiving. My three key points for jiving are speed is your friend, move your body early, and don't steer too fast. Let's have a look in more detail. First, let's look at the angle we're jiving through. Take a look at this footage from above and notice the smoothness of the curve. Notice a smooth entry, consistent middle section, and slightly sharper exit. The boat slows down during the manoeuvre, so we sail a slightly hotter angle on the exit to build our speed. Once we're happy that we're back at full speed, we can bring our boat back down to our VMG angle. At the end of this turn, you can see the boat beginning to bear away on more of a downwind course. As the wind gets lighter, the angle we jive through gets bigger, and we need to sail higher to stay on the foils. In light wind conditions, it would look something like this. As it gets windier, the opposite is true, and the angle we need to jive through gets smaller. In windier conditions, it would look something like this. Notice how early in the turn my body moves across to the new side. In fact, I'm sitting on the new wing bar before the boat is at a dead downwind angle. Finding the right balance between the amount of steering and the amount of body movement across the boat is necessary to keep the boat flat and flying through the manoeuvre. At this point you can see I've moved early as my body and the sail are on the same side. I don't reach a dead downwind angle until about here. From this point I can steer through the rest of the turn, change my hand and select the right exit angle for the breeze. Now let's look at some different angles from a lighter wind day and break down the stages of the jibe in more detail. Before we attempt the jibe we make sure the boat is going fast. Everything is more balanced at speed, the pressure in the sail is much lighter and the boat has a much better chance of staying on the foils. Throughout the jibe we're aiming for the heel angle to be somewhere between flat or slightly to leeward. A bit of leeward heel helps the boat to carve through the turn, especially in windy conditions, and it gives you a little bit more margin for error. You should always avoid windward heel on the entry to the jibe. The first step is to take your back foot out of the toe strap and straighten your leg to get your back foot towards the centre line of the boat. As you do that, slide your hand down the main sheet towards the block and taking an armful of sheet. This deloads the sail and gets out of the way of the wing bar so that you can cross the boat more easily. Sit your body up and begin to move across the boat. Sailors that are used to conventional boats will feel the instinct to start turning at this point, but don't steer yet. Lead with your tiller hand and begin to transfer your weight off your bum onto your feet and knees. At this point, you can start the turn, but only steer a tiny bit. Whilst the tiller extension is moving across the boat, the actual tiller has barely moved. Many sailors learning to jibe reach this point and hesitate, but continue to steer, leading to a capsize to the old windward side. When troubleshooting a bad jibe, if you capsize to windward, you have probably steered too much or moved too slowly, or a combination of the two. If you capsize to leeward, you probably haven't steered enough or moved too quickly, but this is much less common. It is important to keep moving your body all the way from wing to wing without stopping in the middle. Reach your tiller hand across the boat and plant it on the new wing bar. This helps you maintain a smooth turn rate and keep your balance as you shift your weight to the new side. If you don't do this, you will find the steering wobbly and the boat difficult to control. Bring your front foot across the noodle and push off it to move your weight onto the new wing. Here you can see me going onto my knees, but in windier conditions I would sit directly onto the wing bar. If you get across the boat early, you will feel like you have much more time to choose your exit angle. If you cross the boat late, everything becomes rushed and the outcome won't be as smooth. I like to change my hands as I sit down, but it is also fine for you to change your hands after you're sat down and are comfortable. Give the main sheet a good hard pump to pop the battens, get your feet under the toe strap and get back onto that VMG angle. Let's watch that again in full speed and take a look at the onboard camera. Step one, make sure you're going fast. Step two, take your back foot out of the toe strap and start to sheet in the main sheet. Step three, shift your body inboard without oversteering. Step four, extend your tiller hand towards the new wing bar. Step five, bring your front foot over the noodle and push off, stabilizing yourself with your tiller hand on the new wing bar. Step six, swap your hands and sit down. 
Step seven, pop the battens. Step eight, put your feet under the toe strap and find your VMG angle, and that's you done. That's it for this driving video. Best of luck with your drives and watch out for more videos in this series.